What is going on guys? Darkridge back again here with another um, competitive analysis moveset. This time we are going over Magiarna or Magiarna, however you pronounce this. And this thing has a crazy move pool. I just found out this thing gets um, crazy coverage. Um, the first set I'm going to show you is um, Quiet Nature, a trick room set. This thing has 65 speed only. And if you give it a quiet nature, it's minus speed, and in trick room you will basically outspeed most of the matter. Even though um, a lot of the new Pokemon are really slow, but with minus speed nature and stuff, you will still um, outspeed them in trick room, I would say. I gave it Flash Cannon, reliable stab move, to hit Clefable, to hit Fairy types, basically. And then we have Ice Beam or Thunderbolt. This is just about what you want to hit more. I would say we sh you should run. I would say Ice Beam is fine. You hit Landorus pretty hard, you Oko Landorus, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why I said pretty hard. Thunderbolt would be for Skarmory or Tornadus. Actually, both moves hit Tornadus T. Um, and I put um, Focus Blast or Aura Sphere. Uh, the other mo the other option above Ice Beam also hits Laddie. By the way, I didn't see Moonblast in the when I scrolled through the move that Magiana learns. I don't think it gets Moonblast or Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> Maybe I <sighs> overlooked it, but I just don't think it gets it. It's a bit sad. I wish this thing got a good Fairy Stab move, but uh, its move pool is so crazy that I don't think it's gonna matter. It's still gonna be really good. Like, this thing is a huge threat. Its ability Soul Heart also raises its special attack if it uh, feigns a Pokemon, so it's like Moxie for special attack. And so the set is gonna the set is gonna be Life Orb, okay? I don't know, I forgot to put this on the screen, but the set is gonna be Life Orb. And with Life Orb Focus Blast, I will, we will go to the calculator really soon. You have um, you Oko Heatran after Stealth Rocks 100%. And our sphere is just if you want to be safe. If you are one of these players that don't trust Focus Blast, you miss it too often. Um, we, will, we will see in the calculator if what Focus Blast brings you over our sphere. If you want to risk, if you want to take the risk of missing, but you will get more damage for that. And let's get into the um, the EVs. This is just. Um, Nothing special. I just give this max HP to be real bulky, to be decently bulky. Max push attack to hit as hard as possible with the cry nature and eight in defense. Zero speed IVs, like I said earlier. And uh, we are gonna go um, in the calculator next. I will see you on Pokemon Showdown. I'm gonna pause it real quick. Okay, so here we are on Pokemon Showdown with this Magiarna cry nature life orb. So you guys can see. I put a max HP Heatron in the calculator and Focus Blast is um, a guaranteed Oko after Stealth Rocks. If you have no Stealth Rocks, it's gonna do. Um, it has a 65% chance to Oko, 65.3. And you can put. If we put Aura Sphere instead, we probably need um, prior damage on Heatron. I put Moonblast here, thought it got Moonblast at first. I don't think it gets it though. Um, RSV would do um, 61 to 72. I mean, this is this is offensive feature, and obviously, but it's different. You just you two hit KO. Let's put 180 and calm. Just as an example. I want to see if um. Aura Sphere and Focus Blast both tweet Chaotis of or if you see a huge difference. I mean yeah, Aura Sphere probably tweet KOs, maybe not with lefties, but you just need a little pro damage. So I guess you could run that. Because Focus Blast doesn't Oko anyway, that's the different. Okay, what what else do we kill? We can put in Ladias. Ladios and not Ladias. Let's put Lady O's. Okay, um, Thunderbolt hits Kel you too. That's 
so you might want to run that if you want to hit kill you. I mean, yeah, Thunderbolt slash Ice Beam, you guys, we shall see what, um, you guys ha just have to see what fits your team better. As we see, Laddie's, uh, Cyjok only does 20%, HP Fire only does 40 so that he cannot really touch you and Ice Beam is going to do how much? God, this computer is so laggy today. Ice Beam is going to be 86.9 to 102. So it's an 80% chance to Oko and if you have Stealth Rock up, it's um, it's basically guaranteed. 39.8. It's a pretty high chance to Oko. Let us see what you can do versus Kaleo. I just want to see what this, how this mon does versus the um, common OU threats. Specs Kaleo only does 65 to 77 with Hydro Pump. Good god, Magion is so bulky. Holy crap, this is just max HP. And Focus Blast would do a clean amount of 63 to 74, but how much is Thunderbolt gonna do is my question. We can put Ice Beam out of the calculator. Landorus T obviously gets so cool by that. We don't have to cult that. Thunderbolt the uh, 95 minimum to kill you. Good god. Life on Magiana is pretty scary. Don't sleep on this thing. You set up a trick room. Boy, oh boy. This thing's gonna go in. Uh, what else are we? We can calc. Um, let's calc Life Orb. Um, not Life Orb. Let's calc Assault West Tornadus T. Salt is pivot and give it max HP or 248 in HP because that's what a salt vest torn runs these days. And you will see, um, man, also Magiana's defensive typing is so good. You're only weak to ground and fire, if I'm not mistaken. So you wall, yes, you wall real well. That's crazy. You resist knockoff, you resist ice, but crash. Thunderbolt does 65 to 67. Versus Assault West Torn. I mean, yeah, that's just because Assault West makes Torn spit death pretty decent, I guess. But what is Tornadus doing back to you? Tornadus pretty much can't touch you. Superpower Hurricane has 18%. Okay, it could run Heat Wave, but even that, you you will eat that up. I would say Heat Wave does high 30 high 30 percentage, maybe 38. Now it does a bit more. Okay. He with us 41 to 49, but you still eat that up. I mean, with life up, you're gonna be taking recall. But this, this set is gonna be fire. Don't don't sleep on this. I think this is gonna be OU for sure. What else is there in the OU TL? Let's say Mega Law Honey. How much is? I want to see how much a high jump kick from Mega Law Honey would do versus this max HP Magiarna. My computer will load. I jump kick does 53 to 63 and you can kill it back with auras here pretty much. Guaranteed Oko of the stealth rocks. Flash can also does a lot, you just need a little bit prior damage for that to kill. And <laughs> focus blast is obviously an overkill, but yeah, you might not want to run that. Um yeah, I'll this thing gets crazy coverage. Mariana, I, I just looked it up, it gets grass knot, it gets shadow ball. To hit Cresselia, like there's not much to wall this thing. It gets bolt beam, like um, like we already talked about. It gets flash cannon. Then the physical move pool is not that good. I think it gets gyro ball explosion and stuff like that. I don't really know how, but physical. It gets shift gear though. So I haven't actually made a second set. I'm gonna try to make a second set and show you that guys in a bit. But uh, this thing is just a huge threat in the OG, like. Let's say another common mon. Let's say Amoongus. How much is Amoongus gonna take? Oh, you pivot. Um, I I forgot actually if this thing gets. Oh, does it get flamethrower or something? I don't think it does. But Amoongus um gets two hit KO'd after Stealth Rocks from Life Orb Flash Cannon. This thing is a monster. And that's Amoongus. That's Amoongus already running 92 Spad Death EVs. Like this list. I can go on and on. This thing beats pretty much most of the OU tier 1v1. Let's say Bishop. How much is it? Like, you obviously beat Bishop 1v1. 
What's Bishop gonna do you? Iron Head is Bishop's hardest hitting move versus you. And you, you resist knock of and sucker punch. And Iron Head only does 40 to 47 from life of Jolly Bishop. And you just oak it with Aura Sphere or like Thunderbolt even does 81 max. It's crazy. Like, <laughs> I could talk 10 more minutes about every how it beats most of the OU meta 1v1. This is so crazy. Let's talk about Kyurem Black real quick. How, how do you do with Kyurem? Mixed wall breaker. I mean, Flash can probably kill Kyurem, right? Because I'm live up quiet. That's plus special attack. Kyurem gets guaranteed awkward. Like, Kyurem is a monster. You don't sleep on Kyurem's bulk. I think mild is minus per death, though. No, that's not minus per death. Kyurem with a mutual nature gets awkward guaranteed by Flash can. That's crazy. And see what's Kyurem doing back. Earth power only just. 64 to 76 back. Fusion Bolt does 30 only. So if you if you're on leftovers on this Magiana instead, instead of live or for longevity, I can see that being useful too. Um, you could maybe even come in on a Curum and be able to lift the combination of Earth Power and Fusion Bolt. I mean, you don't have to do. That's obviously probably not the best play to make. I'm just trying to tell you guys this thing is so good, like what it can do. You could technically switch into Curum and eat Earth Power plus Fusion Ball if you run leftovers or if you run a little bit more bulk here in this death. That's so crazy. Um, I'm gonna pause it real quick and um, gonna try to make um, another another set, an offensive set. I think I then. So I said Magiana doesn't get a fairy step, but it gets dazzling gleam. So yeah, you guys can run that too. That's an option. And also, um, a reason to run T-Ball is I made an the um, competitive analysis on Toxapex the other day, and that thing walls you if you don't run Thunderbolt. It resists um, Aura Sphere, it resists Flash Cannon, it resists Fairy. So that's another huge reason to run it, because that thing. It's pretty bulky, and if you run that set that I made in the um, in my other analysis, uh, you you guys know that thing is a tank. So I am back with a second move set for Magiana, and this is really hard. I tried to make physical Magiana work, and I really struggled a lot with this. We have our Jolly Nature, max attack, 72 in HP, and 184 in speed. This enables me. To outspeed Scarf Landorus after one shift gear, which is um, pretty important, I thought. Like I have to outspeed Landorus, right? Like Scarf Lando. I was looking at Scarf Kaldio and Scarf Ladios, but I could not outspeed this even if I put max speed. So with the bulk I put, we are able to do some work. I will explain that later. Let's go on to the moves and the item. As we have, um, I put leftovers here. Because this is a sub shift gear set, Margiana has a really poor physical move pool in my opinion. I have Iron Head and Brick Break, and like I said, substitute shift gear. Um, we might have to put Life Orb, because leftovers. Um, the Calx I did was leftovers. Uh, Margiana is a bit weak. On the physical side, I think it's base 90 attack, and the special attack is 130. Making special Margiana work is way more is way easier. I also forgot to mention earlier it gets Call Mind, it gets um, Solar Beam, it gets um, it gets so many crazy moves on the special side, but on the physical side it doesn't get that much. It gets Gyro Ball, Explosion, like that doesn't help me when I want to use a shif sub shift gear or a sub shift gear. I would use shift gear three attacks, but this thing does not get any good physical moves unless I'm missing something. I just didn't see any. So we will hop on Pokemon Showdown and I will try to make this set work with... I will show you guys some cards. So here we are on Pokemon Showdown with this physical Magiana. I said Magiana has 90, attack it has 95. My bad, my bad. Base 95. So here we have some cards versus Magzone. With one shift gear in Brick Break does um, 54 to 64. That's Specs Magnezone and Specs Magnezone has a 60 to 70 to you. So, if you have Shift Gear, Magnezone comes and you beat it 1v1. But yeah, this is not the best. You want um, Rotom Wash weakened a bit. With this set, you want um, Rotom Wash to be weakened. 
So you would um, want to put partners on the team that beat Rotom Wash. Like um, Celebi Among Us, Kurum Black. Just you want stuff that comes in on Rotom. So Rotom is um, gets pressured, gets whittled. And let's see this. Um, with the HP investment I put, let's say you weaken the Rotom to about 60%, but I think I'm gonna have to make give this a life or to make this work to actually beat Rotom down. Let's say you weaken Rotom to 60% and you go for shift gear. They switch in their Rotom and Rotom sees that shift gear it wants to burn you, right? So the Rotom is going to try to will wisp you. What you will do is you're, you will substitute on that. And now you have a plus one speed, uh, plus one attack, plus two speed Magierna. Chilling behind the substitute. And the Rotom takes, gets the lefty, so it's at 66. Okay. You can then... Um, Brick Break does not tweak you then unless you get max damage two times. Um, so you can then shift gear again, which will give you plus two attack. And the Rotom will have to break your substitute at first. So, if the Rotom goes for Volt Switch, the Rotom needs a high roll to break your substitute, because we have 72 in HP. If your substitute doesn't break, the Rotom guy is in a really bad position, because he has to bring in another Mon, and you have this already set up Magierna at plus four speed, plus two attack. I mean, this is up. This is obviously not gonna happen that much that you are gonna be able to set up that freely. But if you play this perfectly, you're gonna you can make the set work. The set is a bit gimmicky. The physical move probably is not that good. And yeah, if the Rotom realizes that Volt Switch doesn't break this up, they still have to risk Hydro Pump. Hydro can Hydro Pump can miss. So you can that's a bit of a cheap strategy, but you can keep substituting until they miss. <laughs> Like, trust me, Hydro Pump doesn't hit that all much. And, yeah, if you get to plus two, then you can then two it KO the Rotom. Um, let's do some other calcs. How much do you have to weaken Landorus T? I mean, like I said, this set is probably not that good, but I just wanted to try um, to make a physical Magiana work. Oh, I said I said you're gonna back le get back lefties. With the life upset, obviously not. If you don't have life, or are you still gonna be able to tweet KO the Rotom? Probably not. Like if you wanna be the Rotom, you need the life orb. So I would say pair this Magiana if you want life orb. Pair this with Healing Wish, cause if you get whittled down, you can weaken that team. You get whittled, and then you bring it back later with Healing Wish. That sounds like a good idea. I'd say defensive Landorus. How much do you do? Earthquake does not Oko you. And Iron Head does a clean. Iron Head does a clean um 42 to 50 percent. Is that at minus one? Oh never mind, that's that's already if you're <laughs> If Landris comes in, it only takes 18 to 22. Okay, so yeah, so you don't beat Landris. So you have to pair this with something to beat Landris. Oh boy. This is actually hard to make this work. So this thing obviously targets with Landris, and you also have to weaken Rotom a bit, like I said, but versus Rotom can do some work with the substitute on the will o -Wisp. And now we have talked about monsters things. This, this, this thing... <laughs> this thing struggles with. Let's now talk about mons this thing beats. We can go on Pokemon Showdown. We can go to the Team Builder. This thing beats Bishop easily, but the, spe the special set probably does it better. I mean, to be honest, the special set does most things the physical set does better. But you beat Fairies. You beat um, Clefable and Gardevoir, I'm pretty sure. Like, what is Clefable doing? If Clefable tries to Thunder Wave, you use Substitute on that. <laughs> and but I mean, the fable will probably not stay on you anyways. But if they try, I mean, Iron had a neutral is going to do 73. So with one shift gear up, Clefable is probably gonna die. Let me calc versus Breloom. 
But yeah, I have to say the attack stat and the move pool is a bit disappointing, so physical Magiana is not the way to go. I still want to show you guys the set. Um, versus Breloom, um, darn, why does Bullet Seed do so much? I thought it's resisted. I put in Steel and Fairy in the type, right? It's not that I put Diancy's type in. I guess I guess Magiano's defense is not the no 115 defense is good decent. I don't know why Brilum does so much. But yeah, like I s like you see you, s you um kill Brilum if you get up one shift gear if you get to plus one. You have a pretty high chance of killing Brilum. It will kill itself on life orb. Or you will um if you have rocks up it will die too. Okay, what other mons are there in OU that you let's say Heatran Let's say you shift gear up, they bring in Heatran. You can tweet KO them with um, Brick Break. I mean, you, you don't need to shift gear to tweet KO them. Brick Break just um, has a high chance to tweet KO Heatran. Hey, if you have Rocks up, it's guaranteed. Actually, that's that's offensive Heatran. Versus max HP Heatran, you need... Um, With max HP Heatran, you um, you still do it KO with rocks. That's pretty decent. But yeah, like I said, this set is gimmicky and not that good. Um, this is something I will use in a live though, so, and this will be some sort of heater for heater. Um, <laughs> I mean, with Brick Break, you beat Tyranitar. That's something. Kelly is also something you need for this thing to do work. Volcano. Yeah, that's just a lot. There are a lot of threats that wall this thing. Um, you obviously beat Weaver, but the special set also does that way better. Mm. You also struggle with Manaphy. Yeah, this the set is really not that good. I don't know why I try to do this. <laughs> I was looking in this <laughs> this much on a move pool and um. Like for 20 minutes, and I really wanted to make physical Magiana rock, but I. <laughs> it seems uh, Magiana is about to be a special Pokemon. Um, let's talk about some other potential sets. I could see. Um, Call Mind is um, pretty scary. I can see that being a thing. I can see four attacks being a thing with just HP investment. But the three attack set with Trick Room that I suggested earlier, I like that a lot. I'm sorry guys, the second part was a bit all over the place. Um maybe I should have just posted the first set. But call is call is I need an I need a new name for this. I'm gonna work on a new name. I don't wanna say Hida for Hida, but I I'm gonna make a series that's kind of like Hida for Hida. But I'm gonna change the concept and make a new name. And try to make it a bit different, because that's boring if I just do the same that the other people do that Pokemon and etc. do. So I hope you guys still enjoy this. Magiana is a Pretty cool mon. Don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on Magiona. <coughs> Tell me what you think about the move sets. Um, the first move set is pretty cool in my opinion. Tell me if you have any ideas how to make physical Magiona work. Maybe you have a special, specific EV spread to set up with substitute on certain Pokemon. That would be pretty cool if you guys can um, know any like that. Um, <laughs> know any EV spreads if you have done some calcs yourself maybe I don't know how hyped you are maybe you guys say no I don't want to even play this game anymore after the new stats but I'm pretty sure most people are hyped for this game I'm talking way too long I hope you guys have a nice day stay tuned for more action more short on lives coming more analysis is coming <laughs> Darker signing out I don't even know what I'm trying to say peace <laughs>